I'm going into Goodwill. I do this a lot. Like every day. Sometimes some of these stores I come in twice a day. Later. I'm looking at clothes. I'll show you. I, I buy this kind of stuff too. Women's sweaters and sweatshirts. $3.49. And I'm just kind of eyeballing them. Look at this. Fila. Looks like small. Real nice condition for three bucks. That's a winner. Huh. That would be a winner too. This nightmare before Christmas Christmas sweater for three bucks. That's a good buy. The prices are good in these stores in West Virginia. That's dirt cheap, 99 cents for VHS tapes, 49 cents for cassettes. Then there's, I've got just insane stuff here. Like whole boxes full of cassettes that are like 80s hair metal, like all early Motley Crue, like first ones. There's Bad Company. That's for 49 cents. That's decent. Man, look how clean it is. Oh, there's always, that'd be a money maker. Less than that. You see what else it got. But look at all the VHS tapes. Some of them are sealed. There's vanilla sky. Let's go on the other side. Just kind of see, see. A lot of these, you know, this stuff will sell. That's like new condition. That's a decent movie. I liked it anyway. All right. Johnny Carson. That would probably sell, you know. I bet you could list that at six ninety nine a piece on these, or put both of them for six ninety nine and they'd sell. And might even get ten, twelve. Look at that Antietam documentary. There's some decent stuff here for resale. But, uh, All right, I'm back in this store looking around. That's kind of a cool pumpkin. Dollar ninety nine dish. It's not that old Pacific Rim, but it's worth a dollar ninety nine. Golden Harvest, that's a little mason, but cup, 79 cents. That's kind of cool for that price. I can't believe these are still left. A dollar ninety-nine for these lights. What I meant, you could take a picture of this one and put nine ninety-nine a piece and have 30 available. That's the way you want to list items. It's easy money. It's just boom, boom, say all you have to do is take it to the... You know, post office. That's kind of an odd, unique thing. I like that. That cookie jar is gone. I was gonna buy it. Whoa. This is nice looking stuff. Better homes, huh? Wonder how much that is. If it's like 10 bucks for the whole set. That's pretty classy, kind of. It's worth more than $10. I might have to buy that. It's a $20 item at a flea market. Avon, 99 cents. Should probably buy that too, but that's, I'm not a real big fan of that kind of stuff. Four. 99 that's decent that looks like home interior it's 999 
That's like, it looks 70s at newest. I have to buy this, $1.99. That's awesome. I'll get back. All right, this isn't as good, but it's only a dollar ninety-nine, and these are pace cards from the nineteen sixties. I can tell by looking at them. So I'm gonna buy it. Miller it has on them, but I like that big picture. But uh, all right, I'm buying stuff in these stores for resale, and this is a good item. It's an Ohio State cane, and it can all be cleaned up. And it's $3.99. That's a $15 opening bed cleaned up. Mrs. Martha Howard. Woodsfield, Ohio. Jeez, it was. But, uh, you look, here's like a section with toys and stuff. You can see kind of what they got. And it's all dirt cheap buck on that car. You see, look, $9.99 for that thing. It was probably $50 new. But look up here at these old games. Bride Bingo, $2.99. That's fifties. It, look at the cards. Look here. That's very cool. That's just nuts, that cover on that right there. For $2.99, I'll probably have to buy this. See, it's a game. And look at it. I'll probably buy this for that price. All right, later. With, and this is Little Abner. Try to find this one for sale with this box, with the Little Abner bat box. You know, paying $2.99, I'd say I could get $25 with this, especially if I put it in a lot and just say I've got the other two, but it's for the complete one of these. A little wear to the box, but it's Little Abner. You could sell this to a woman that's having a wedding and that'd be a hit. It's got all the original pieces in the original, all of it's original. Look how clean the cards are. And the box is what makes this one look at them. They're mint condition. Plus I got all the extras to go with the auction when I do sell it or however I get rid of it. But that's pretty cool, little Abner. And I got, you know, there was two instruction manuals original instructions for the the game and I got I think two of these the cards yeah, I can't believe all the Christmas lights look at them $2.99 them other ones were a dollar look in the t nativity set there $2.99 I don't know if that's it looks more but them are nice for that price later See, this is a nice jacket. I wonder how much this is. If it's like three bucks, I want to try it on. It's old Sears leather, but I think coats are eight bucks. I think this will be eight dollars. And there's a Gap leather one for twelve dollars. I'll, I'll see you on this. Hold on. You know, Forty won't even. It's so small on me. The the sleeves are up to here, like on me. It looks like a little kid's thing on me, but that's a nice looking jacket. And it's probably only like eight dollars. I'll show you down to here. Let me put this over here. Uh, there's always stuff here to buy. You know, that's a good thing to buy in resale. There's always good. Some of it's junk, but a lot of it's usually good. Huh. That's not bad either. It's a pretty nice jacket. Later. Some of this clothing they have here this time is nice for as cheap as it is for resale. That's a good item. I think this stuff that's five dollars or under all of this stuff. That's good for resale. That's a little bit too beat up, but this is good for resale too. Yeah, there's nothing over six bucks here. Members only Nickelodeon. That's worth triple even if it's eight bucks huh. see what I mean I could be just killing it I know exactly what to buy in these places look at this $7.99 that's very nice it's just metal work but that's worth more I'm gonna buy that I'm gonna buy both of them later
All right, I'll show you the stuff I bought. Ended up buying these were seven ninety nine a piece. They're very super. See, they got wall hangers on them. They're like something you could buy at TJ Maxx, but they're twenty five dollar items, and that was a good buy. Look how nice that looks right there. You know, and this other one. It's got the hangers too in the mirrors. I'm gonna hang them in my house. I'm keeping these. They'd be great resale items at a flea market, but I have a room that they're gonna look this nice on the wall. It's the same colors. I gotta repaint all of this this summer. Later. You know, this is $4.99. When I saw this on the shelf, I about crapped myself because I thought it was from like 1965. But it's like a newer knockoff, but it's still Fisher Price. $4.99. It's but it see, it's still a nice toy. It's like 2010. It must, the old one would have been like cardboard and not sticker, like a cardboard type thing, but that's still cool for $5. I thought I'd show you. Later. I love stuff like this, you know, not for me, but for resale. That's $4.99. That's Fisher Price cleaned up with a few more Fisher Price things with it in an auction. There's another one. You know that you're looking at thirty bucks. This toy was a lot, and look, it's all there. I just don't want to mess with shipping a lot of this stuff. See, it even makes noise. It still works. Hear it? And what? What did that? buy this for my dog if it wasn't so small. This is a beautiful little dog coat with a hood on it. It's really well made with a paw on it. It's $4.99. It's never been on a dog. It'd be a good item to resell. Later. Yeah. This is a good item thing. The legs adjust, you see. It's a little stool that adjusts. That can all be cleaned up. It's only $1.99. I'm buying it. Later. <laughs>